as, as a leader, if you're listening today, I want you to ask your team in the next meeting, or if it's a one-on-one, -on -one, if it's a team meeting, I want you to ask the teammate, what is one thing I could start doing? And what is one thing I could stop doing as mm. a leader? And because you ask for that one thing, they can't say, oh, nothing. They have to think of one thing. You can even, I'm gonna say number two is to take that a step further and ask that same question as a team, as a collective. What's one thing collectively as a team that we can stop doing and one thing that we can start doing? And then number three, can I do a three and a four, Gary? I got a sure. three and a four. Okay, they I'll go into- Hey, All right. we're about innovation here. All right, because it's going into that. So number three is celebrating wins. That is huge. Um, if you're a virtual company, creating a Slack channel, or if you use Teams, some type of communication channel just to put your wins. I'm talking small wins. Like I got a meeting with this client. I'm talking like, oh my gosh, we might win this piece of business. Or, oh my gosh, my dog just graduated from dog school. Like, I don't care. Just give a win because celebrating those collectively will ultimately drive your culture. The fourth thing is celebrate your failures. People always think I'm crazy when I say this, but because we were failing so much in 2020 and everything just felt hard, we created something called failure parties. So instead of creating vision boards like you would do at the start of every new year. Every quarter, we would create a failure board. We would do this via Zoom. We create a PowerPoint. We pull little clips from the internet of pictures and those were representative of things that we failed at both personally, but more importantly, professionally that quarter. And then we'd have a Zoom meeting because now my whole team is remote and we would celebrate each one. I have this sign behind me. I know your audience can't see me, but there's a sign behind me that says fail. Yeah, which after every vision or sorry, failure board was shared, we would give each team member a fail. Yeah, because you celebrate the wins, but you also create a culture where you can celebrate the losses because every single single thing that you fail at, you can learn and you can improve upon.